All right, so where to start? Honestly, I didn't know what to talk about first. Really, the only reason I'm starting with this is because first thing that came to my mind. So a couple years ago, me and some of my buddies, we went to a nearby river to go and find a cliff jump. Now, this jump is a big rock that hangs over a river, so we got in a car to drive over, and that's where our adventure would begin. This rock is pretty hard to find, and really the only way to know where it is is to actually go with someone who already knows. One of the guys in our group said he was pretty sure he knew where it was. And that was good enough for the rest of us. So we parked the car, started walking down a trail that led us through the woods. After about five minutes, the guy who knew where we were going said, this way. When I looked up, I saw a huge mud pit that just led to more woods. The first guy took a step and sank up to his knee. You sure this is the right way? Oh, for sure. No doubt about it. All right, then. We made our way through the mud pit, started walking through the woods without a trail. Stumbled around for a little bit before the guy said, Thought it was right here. I looked around. Yo, we're not even next to water. We were surrounded by trees and dirt. No water was in sight. Spent the next 10 minutes looking around and realizing what I figured out immediately, that we still weren't near any water. So we decided to retrace our steps, head back to the mud pit, because at least there was some water near there. We stepped back through it, and by the time we made two trips through, half the guys had lost their shoes. So now we were back on the trail we started with, with half the shoes we came with. The guy decided that the best route was just further down the woods trail, so we decided to keep following that. We spent another 20 minutes heading down that way, when the guy said, Stop. Let's cross the river. Now, let me remind you that I haven't been here before, but I was pretty sure you couldn't jump into the river while you were in the river. You sure you know where we're going? Oh, for sure. So we waded across waist deep water, made our way onto an island in the middle of the river. We walked up the sand and I don't even know how, but somehow ended up in a jungle. There were vines and grass and monkeys, but apparently that wasn't far enough. So we walked through the island, and for some reason it was covered in razor-sharp twigs, but only wherever I stepped. We made our way through, only to find more water on the other side that we had to cross. Yo, do you have any idea where we are? Absolutely. We're almost there. So we swam across some more water, and I'm not even making this up. There was another island we had to cross. At this point, I was ready to let the monkeys have me, because there was no way I was finding my way back. But we'd already made it this far, so I might as well keep going. We made our way through the island and finally found the rock on the other side. Across the river. There's no way we have to swim across, right? Oh, we do. We'd already spent three hours searching at this point, and I wasn't about to leave without jumping. So I took a deep breath, decided to get my best Mikey Phelps on, and dove into the water. I swam across the water, climbed onto some rocks below, and now the problem was I had to climb all the way to the top in order to jump off and this jump is 46 feet high. So I found the path up, grabbed onto a tree branch, and right at that moment, it started to rain. I looked at the sky and saw what I'm pretty sure is classified as a level four hurricane heading our way. Realized I had two choices. The first was to head back immediately, waste four hours, and be safe. Or I could climb fast, jump off, and then head back while risking my health and safety. So of course I kept going, because I wasn't about to let some rain stop me. So I continued the climb and made my way to the top of the rock. At the top, I found a nice safe area, which is right in front of the jump. I shimmied over to the edge, looked over the 46 foot jump below, and stared at the river. The rain was pouring all around me. Lightning was in the distance. It kind of felt like the dark night, to be honest. It was pretty sweet. I took two quick breaths and jumped up the top. I stared at the water below and watched as it got closer and closer, and then water slapped me in the face. I swam to the surface and immediately started spitting out blood. Everyone I was with was yelling at me to come back, but honestly I couldn't even hear them. I had to take a second to gather myself. I noticed how bad the storm was getting once I collected my thoughts. Definitely time to get out of there. So I got my Mikey Phelps back on, booked it back across the river, and somehow we figured our way back. We went back through the jungle, then river, then jungle, then river, and back into the woods, all while outrunning what I'm pretty sure was the apocalypse. Jumped into the car, slammed the doors, and got out of there. And after five hours of being lost, stepping on who knows what, and hitting my face from 46 feet high, we made it home safe and sound. And it was well worth it.